Unity. Unity is the most popular game engine in the world. It uses C-sharp programming language and is used by various developers and companies, including Ubisoft. Unity was initially released in 2005 and supports both 2D and 3D game development. It is commonly used for making diverse game genres and supports cross-platform gameplay. Notable games created in Unity include Rust, Cuphead, Fall Guys, and way more. Unity was recently under fire for charging 10 cents per download, which caused people to abandon it and switch to other engines. Unreal Engine. Unreal is developed by Epic Games and is another widely used game engine. It uses C++ for its programming language, but also supports blueprint visual scripting for people who don't know how to code. Unreal Engine is used by a lot of different developers like Epic Games and Ubisoft. Notable games created in Unreal Engine are Fortnite, Gears of War, and Bioshock Infinite. Unreal Engine was released in 1998 and since then has been used for both 2D and 3D game development, though usually 3D. It is commonly praised for its advanced graphic rendering capabilities and robust toolset. It's also used for its cross platform support, enabling developers to deploy their games on multiple platforms, including PC, consoles, and mobile devices. Godot Godot is an open source game engine and is commonly praised for its user-friendly interface. Godot uses its own scripting language called GDScript, which is similar to Python. It's popular among indie devs and smaller studios due to being free and open source. Notable games created in Godot include Getting Over It and Sonic Colors. The engine was first released in 2014 and supports both 2D and 3D game development. It is commonly used for creating various game genres including platformers, puzzle games, and RPGs. Godot is also known for its cross-platform compatibility, allowing devs to export their games to multiple platforms such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and HTML5. GameMaker Studio GameMaker, or GMS, was developed by YoYo Games and is a popular game engine known for its simplicity and accessibility to beginner developers. It uses its own coding language called GML, but it also supports drag and drop actions. GameMaker Studio caters to indie developers and small studios, providing an intuitive interface and a robust set of tools for creating 2D games. Notable games created in GameMaker Studio include Undertale, Hyperlight Drifter, and Heartbound. The engine has been evolving since its initial release in 1999, with GameMaker Studio 2 introduced as a significant upgrade. GMS2 offers better performance and additional features, making the sequel the preferred choice for most developers. With its focus on 2D game development, it is possible to make 3D games, just not ideal. Source Source was developed by Valve for Valve. It uses C++ for programming, offering extensive control over game mechanics and systems. The Source engine has been used by various developers and companies, but mostly Valve games like Half-Life 2, Portal, and Counter-Strike. The engine was first released in 2004 with updates and improvements over the years. Source 2 was introduced as a significant upgrade, providing enhanced graphical capabilities, improved physics simulation, and better support for modern hardware. While the Source engine is known for being only used by Valve, there are games outside of Valve that use it, like the Stanley Parable. Source is usually recommended to make mods of Valve games rather than original projects. Construct Construct is a user-friendly game engine designed for both beginners and experienced developers. It uses visual scripting interface that allows devs to create games without the need for traditional coding languages. Construct uses event sheets and behaviors to define game logic and interactions, and only makes 2D games. It's popular among indie devs and hobbyists due to its ease of use and accessibility. Notable games created in Construct include Guinea Pig Parkour and Mighty Goose. The engine was first released in 2011 and has since had several updates and iterations. Construct 3 is the latest version, introducing new features such as improved performance and multiplayer support. Construct is suitable for creating a wide range of game genres including platformers, puzzle games, and endless runners. CryEngine CryEngine is developed by Crytek and is known for its advanced rendering capabilities. It uses C++ and has been used by various devs, including Crytek, for its games like Crisis and Rise Son of Rome. The engine was first released in 2002 with subsequent updates over the years. CryEngine 2 introduced enhancements in graphical fidelity and physics simulation, while CryEngine 3 expanded support for consoles and introduced features like real-time lighting and dynamic vegetation. CryEngine 5, the latest version, further improves performance and workflow, making it easier for developers to create high quality games. It's commonly used for creating visually stunning AAA games, usually in the first person shooter and open world genres. Its advanced features and powerful rendering capabilities make it a popular choice among devs. Scratch Scratch is a beginner friendly visual programming language developed by the MIT Media Lab. While it's mainly used for educational purposes, it can also be used to create simple interactive projects, including games. Scratch is not typically considered a traditional game engine due to its limited capabilities compared to the more robust engines. Scratch is often made fun of for its simplicity and being used mostly by kids. Despite this, Scratch serves an important role in teaching coding and fostering creativity, with many users creating impressive projects within its community. Click Team Fusion 
Flick Team Fusion is a software known for its user-friendly interface and event-based programming system, and only makes 2D games. It allows developers to create games without needing to write code, making it accessible to beginners and experienced developers alike. Notably, the first Five Nights at Freddy's games were created using Click Team Fusion by Scott Cawthon. FNAF's success catapulted Click Team Fusion into the spotlight as a viable tool for indie game development. With its drag-and-drop interface and powerful features, it continues to be a popular choice for creating 2D games across various genres. RPG Maker RPG Maker is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, specializing in creating role-playing games. It comes with pre-made assets and event-based programming, allowing developers to focus on storytelling and game design rather than complex coding. RPG Maker has been used by both amateur and professional developers to create a wide range of RPG titles. Notable games created with RPG Maker include To the Moon and Corpse Party. RPG Maker is sometimes criticized for its limitations and the tendency for the games to share similar aesthetics because of the reused pre-made assets. However, it still remains a popular popular choice for aspiring game creators due to its accessibility and community support. GDevelop GDevelop is a versatile software that empowers users to create games without needing to write code which seems to be a popular feature throughout these game engines, but whatever. GDevelop utilizes a visual programming approach, allowing developers to design complex game mechanics using events and actions. It supports both 2D and 3D game development with a range of features such as physics simulation, particle effects, and pathfinding. Notable games created with GDevelop include Angry Chicken and The Next Penelope. GDevelop is not as widely recognized as other game engines, but there's still some people that use it for its accessibility. But if you're one of the six people that use it, let me know in the comments below. Build box. Buildbox also doesn't have any coding. It offers a drag and drop interface, allowing users to easily design game mechanics and levels. Buildbox focuses on simplicity and mobile friendliness, making it usable to both beginners and experienced devs. Notable games created with Buildbox include Color Switch and The Line Zen. Buildbox has been praised for its ease of use and quick development process, but it has also faced criticism for its limited customization options and reliance on pre-built templates. But it still remains a popular choice for some indie devs looking to create mobile games efficiently. Defold. Default is a game engine developed by King, the creators of Candy Crush Saga, aimed at streamlining the game development process. It offers a collaborative environment for devs to create high-quality 2D games for various platforms. Default uses the Lua scripting language and features a lightweight but powerful editor. Notable games created with Default include Puzzle Forge 2 and Bad Hotel. With its focus on performance and cross-platform support, Default is a popular choice for indie devs looking to create engaging 2D games efficiently. Phaser. Phaser is a free, open-source framework for creating HTML5 games. It is known for its flexibility and ease of use, allowing developers to quickly prototype and build 2D games for web browsers and mobile devices. Phaser utilizes JavaScript and offers a wide range of features, including sprite animations, physics simulation, and input handling. Notable games created with Phaser include HexGL and Battle Run. With its active community and extensive documentation, Phaser is a popular choice for devs and hobbyists looking to create browser-based games. Frameworks Frameworks provide developers with a comprehensive set of tools and features for creating games, including graphics rendering, physics simulation, and audio management. Frameworks differ from traditional game engines in that they offer more flexibility and require developers to write way more code to implement specific functionalities. Some devs prefer frameworks for their versatility and ability to customize every aspect of the game, allowing for greater control over the final product. Games main frameworks often showcase the creativity of developers, the most notable example being Minecraft, which was built using a Java-based Framework. Frameworks typically work by providing a foundation of libraries and APIs that developers can use to build their games from scratch, giving them full control over the development process and allowing for more unique and innovative gameplay experiences. The best game engine is widely disputed and you can't really compare one over the other. Just kidding, you absolutely can and it's Unreal for 3D and Game Maker Studio for 2D, no debate. If you enjoyed this video, wishlist my portal inspired game made in Unreal Engine called Tilt on Steam by clicking the link in the description. Also make sure to like and subscribe and become a Patreon member if you want to support my channel and future games. But anyways, that's just a theory. A game engine theory. Thanks for watching.